What's up everybody, it's Vivian, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be addressing one of the most asked questions on how I grew my YouTube channel so quickly. And in this video, I'm going to be giving tips on how I hit 10,000 subscribers in one month during quarantine and how you can start a YouTube channel. So if you're interested, then keep on watching the video. So I started this YouTube channel March 21st of 2020. So during quarantine, right when quarantine got really bad is when I decided to make a YouTube channel. I mostly decided to make it just to, you know, pass the time, have something to do some organization literally something just to make my day more interesting so the first thing that I did for my YouTube channel that I knew going into it because when I was younger you know I feel like at one point everybody makes a YouTube channel you know you're a young kid you think it's fun you just post whatever content you want and you just post it and you have a great day but if you kind of want to you know actually grow a channel and you know find a way to make some money then there is a different approach that you kind of have to do when posting your first video my first tip is to do your research literally one of the most important things I cannot trust you enough because a lot of things that I feel like I see YouTubers have all the time are regrets. They regret not doing this. They regret going into it too fast. There's so many things they wish they did. And there's still stuff that I wish that I did now. I want to help you, you know, not have any regrets. So you go into your channel being super, super confident and, you know, ready to post and upload. Then you ask, what do you research? What do you want to know? You research the most you can. Get to know YouTube. Get to know the people who post the videos you want to post. Look up how to do thumbnails. Look up how to edit. Find what you need to get started. I think rushing into it is something that a lot of people run into. They just kind of, you know, get their phone, prop it up, and they start filming. They film a vlog. They film whatever they want just because they want to get their content out there. Do your research and, and eventually start, you know, getting into the posting atmosphere. YouTube itself takes a lot of planning. It's not something that you can just rush into. Now, I actually already had a following before I started YouTube. I had, a, I have my fan page, if you guys don't know. And so I have a decent amount of followers. And so I thought, okay, well, if I do rush into it, it's not that big of a deal because I'll get subscribers. But it didn't really raise my channel. It's not what's going to do that. If you have a big social media platform, that's great, but you can't just rely on them to, you know, get you subscribers. You have to do the work yourself. Once you've done your research, you know, hashtags, thumbnails, what you need to use to edit, just finding, you know, what programs you need to use it. That is when you brainstorm, what do you want your channel to be about? Now, this is really important because a lot of people just post their first videos like a vlog or introducing myself. Never do that. Never ever do that. Don't do an intro video. Of the people don't care. I'm just l stating the facts. People do not care about you unless you have content already. They don't want to know you because they, don't, they literally just don't care. You have to plan your niche. A niche, if you don't know what that is, is basically your topic. What is your YouTube channel going to consist of? So examples are makeup, tutorials like mine, editing videos. You have to find a niche. You can't just be really, really, really random. You can't make a niche of completely unrelated topics. Like if I did a makeup video, it would get no views because everyone knows that my channel is about editing. So now that you have your niche, you know, what you want your channel to be about, and you've done your research about your you know, thumbnails, video ideas, all that stuff, that is when, you know, you decide to film your video. The first video can actually be really crucial. You know, you don't want to screw it up because, I mean, I don't want to put pressure on you or anything. It's a first impression. It's what the first people will see about you. So, you know, you want it to be the best you can be. That involves good quality. You know, it doesn't have to be a fancy dancy camera. You know, you don't have to like go and get a big, huge, thick thing to film on. You can literally do your iPhone. I still film on my iPhone because the quality is better than my camera sometimes. So I do sometimes film on a phone and I am filming on it right now. I not stress you enough how many videos I'm sure you've clicked off just because the quality is fuzzy and gross and dark. The investing as little as $20 can literally make a huge difference. Just good quality and a good still place where you can put your device is a very good idea for a first video. Now, when I was doing my research, the most important thing that I got out of, you know, looking up what am I do what I was doing in my research was looking up what should my first YouTube video be? I was really confused. Like, what do I do? Like, I don't know. Always give value. I cannot stress this enough. Always give your viewers something that can be entertainment that can be you know they come out with a lesson because YouTube is free okay they're getting free advice like I said people don't care about you if you just give your life story no one's gonna care you have to give your first video let it be something that they learn something or they get something out of what you're telling them so my first video on this channel was how to grow a successful fan account that was a tutorial I had credible knowledge about it it was perfect you've seen the video my intro I literally just say hello welcome to my channel my name is Vivian Shea and then I move on Make your intros short and simple. Do not drag it on. Always get to the point, at least 30 seconds, 15 seconds, as quick as you can into the video. Don't wait till the end to get your best part in the video because no one's gonna stick around. You want people to stay as engaged
niche as you can. So once you make your first video, it can be whatever you want as long as it's following your niche. You have to make sure, you know, don't post it right away. You know, don't just make it on your phone and then just upload it to YouTube straight away. Like I said, it takes planning. YouTube is a business. It looks like it's entertainment. You know, you watch funny videos all the time, but in reality, when it comes down to it, YouTube is trying to make money off you. Other YouTubers are trying to make money off you. It is literally a business. You always have to watch an ad somewhere. You have to do it. It's literally just a job. But the planning aspect of it that is not really fun, but you kind of have to do, and I still do, and it isn't always my favorite thing, make an upload schedule and consistency two most important key things. Uploading schedule. This means that you have a set plan of when you're gonna upload. And this is like goes down to specific times too. It's not just, I'm just gonna post every Wednesday at whatever time I feel like it. You wanna get it down to the most specific time. So for me, I post every Sunday and Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Every single day. I've been doing that uploading schedule since March and I have committed to it all the way till, what's today? July, almost August, I've committed to this uploading schedule. You have to, you know, plan ahead of time what's going to work best for you and what you're going to stick to and you know you'll stick to. Consistency and uploading as much as you can at a consistent time is YouTube is going to love you. YouTube is, like I said, it's a business. It runs on analytics. For me, YouTube recognizes, okay, Vivian posts at this time at this hour and this YouTube channel, this girl, she's on YouTube at this time too. Let me recommend it to her. So it's all like, you know, data that they collect about you. It's kind of creepy but if you have a schedule that's out of whack and not you know consistent youtube's like i don't know when to recommend this because we don't know when they're going to actually upload i know that's overwhelming because you're like i can't think of video ideas maybe before you start your channel brainstorm you know write a list what i did is i wrote let me let me find it in here no, no, no. Where is it? so yeah before i started this channel i put you know what it, what i want my channel to be about it, my handwriting is disgusting let's not show you that i put like 25 youtube videos that i know i could do some way and i could always branch off and i can always brainstorm more later but i had a plan if you're not a planner then you're gonna hate this i had okay when am i gonna upload what videos i'm gonna try and do and then i stick to it you have to commit to this channel it's not something you can just you know that scared me so bad. So now you have done your planning, you have filmed your YouTube video, you have edited it, you know, don't just post like a random base. Edit it as much as your ability. If you have a cool, you know, editing program, that's great. If you just have iMovie, that's great too. When you're starting out, you don't need to be perfect. If you have good quality, good lighting, it doesn't really matter about your editing. Now what you need is a title, a thumbnail, and hashtags. I know you're like, YouTube doesn't have hashtags. Yes, they do. A title. You, you <laughs> I cannot trust this enough because I see so many channels, you know, fall into this loophole of not knowing, you know, what to title my video. What do I call it? What will be interesting? Read it after me. Keywords. You want to be as specific as possible. Vague is not going to get you anywhere. If you have your video and you're like, I went to the beach. Okay. No one knows who I is. Nobody knows what beach you're talking about. Nobody cares. If you said Charlie D'Amelio goes to the beach, people are like, oh, I know who Charlie is. I'm gonna watch this because I know who, you know what I'm saying? So for me, when I do my titles for my YouTube videos, I always include like editing, editor, tutorial, those kind of stuff in there. Stuff that, you know, will catch your eye because that's a commonly searched word. After Effects editor tries blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna say Vivian because nobody, if this is recommended, nobody knows who Vivian is, but they know what After Effects editor means. To find, you know, good title ideas, you can always look up what you want your YouTube video to be and find Find other videos that might relate to it you know and see what got popular but you don't want to copy someone's title word for word that was like maybe a video got really really popular and you're like okay if i just copy the same title it'll get popular it won't it's just it's all analytics so you have a cool title for a youtube video now you want to look at your description now people i see all the time put in the description thanks for watching love you guys or hi hope you enjoyed you can't, you can't do that if you want to get on notification and recommended pages. So kind of with the same idea with the title, you have to include key words because YouTube will also recommend your videos based on your description because if the title isn't what you're searching for, it'll recommend what's in the bottom part of the video. Find key words that you know your audience are interested in and who the people you want to reach out to and then imply that into your hashtags. So you have your hashtags, your title, you have everything complete. Now you need a good thumbnail. This is very important because this is another thing with the first impression. This is their first impression of your video. You know, if you just have a screen and you just like, you know, in the, you know, back, in the back with terrible, terrible quality, quality, you know, just you know, sitting, sitting there, there like, like, you know, you know. have to have color, you know, you have to have something that'll stand out. Now, you don't have to get any crazy apps, but I use, what app I use is super, 
what's it called? I don't know what the app's called, but I'm gonna put it right here. And I did pay a little bit of money for it. There is a free version, but literally just looking up tutorials and a lot of you guys are editors. I know a lot of you guys could edit a pretty good thumbnail and be consistent, you know, have a theme. Don't have like messy thumbnails, you know, like try and, you know, make it look pretty. So these are basically all the things that I did to, you know, get my channel to grow. At first, you know, it was going like, I would, I could, I was able to count how many subscribers I was getting a day. I was maybe getting 20, 30. My channel was getting, you know, bigger than I thought it would. I was at like 300, 500 followers. I would make a benchmark for every 100 I got. I would get 100 like every two weeks or something. It was going by, you know, decently fast, but also slow at the same time. And I kept doing that and I was kind of like, oh, like my videos aren't getting really popular. They're not getting that many views, but, but. I continued with it anyways and I, you know, continued through the months and I was like, you know, if I just keep uploading, you know, maybe something will happen. And sure enough, it did. I made a video with, I guess, a thumbnail that was very, very enticing and the title was interesting and unique and it was my after effects editor tries all eight motion for the first time this video was the video that i think really blew up my channel and this is my tip for you guys is that if you are consistent things will happen people thought the video was hilarious and good for me that the video showed my personality which is also an important thing that you want to put in your youtube videos that is my lesson it literally could take one one video to make you your channel grow to the what you want it to be so after that video is where i hit my first a thousand subscribers or so once you see that they hit that a thousand you're like oh they're pretty serious you know they're going you know they're going somewhere it's gonna be slow at the beginning I, I, trust me I, it was slow for me it's slow you know but once you get to where you need to go it's just gonna go up and so you just gotta wait and i said in my other video patience you gotta have it people my last tip that I have for you guys that I kind of touched a little bit earlier, but I want to dive into more is personality. If you are dull and mean and not relatable at all, no one's going to want to watch you. If you are the perfect, if you try to be the most perfect person, you are not going to, you know, get views because we, oh, there's always that person at school, you know, who's really popular and does nothing wrong and we don't like them just because they, they look like they do no errors you have to be human okay you can't try and be some robot who just knows everything you have to show who you are if you understand your content what you're showing and sharing to youtube and you're funny and relatable you're gonna get somewhere that doesn't mean you want to be fake you know you don't want to fake laugh you don't want to fake being all adorable or whatever you want to be a little bit self-deprecating what i mean by that is you want to you know highlight your errors you know make highlight them and make them look funny if i mess up if i talk weird i'm gonna put it in the video to show people that I'm human and I'm not some crazy, you know, teenager who knows everything and is super smart and is really good at YouTube. Want to highlight your problems. <laughs> That's what gets you people who are your age because they're like, oh, she's 16 and she makes mistakes. I make mistakes too. You know, you get what I'm saying? So I hope these tips were super helpful. And if you like them, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you are a new YouTuber or you want to start a YouTube channel, please do it. It is literally so fun and it really helps with organization and self-discipline. And I definitely recommend doing a channel. Don't be afraid. You guys can do this. I believe in you. Just take these tips into consideration and I promise you'll get somewhere. And thank you guys so much for how far you guys have gotten me. It really means the world to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.